Hello, today I will be showing you a advanced text effect called the crystal text effect. It's somewhat difficult if you don't know what you're doing, but hopefully after this you'll know what you're doing. So you're going to start off by inserting three video tracks. Control shift q is the shortcut key if you didn't know. And we're going to change the compositing modes of these. For the top track, set it to multiply mask. For the bottom track, set it to source alpha, should be default. For the middle track, do custom. This box will come up, select Sony Height Map, and hit OK. You're going to need some magic numbers here, and I'm going to be nice and tell you these numbers so your effects can work. 0 0.08 under elevation, or amplitude, sorry, under elevation, 0 0.04 under height scale, leave it 1. Edge pixel handling should be set to transparent, source channel should be set to intensity, and set your smoothness to 9 or 10. I will be going with 9, and you can just exit out of there. The next step is to create your text. I'm going to go with the soft shadow. So drag it into your middle track. Make your text. I cannot type whatsoever today. I'm failing at typing. And you're going to want a big font for this. I'm going to go with 28 days later, bold it, and I'll put it at 60. Close that, right click, copy it, control C, and then paste it, control V is a shortcut. Now, by default, this will be set to create a new sort copy of the source media. Set it to create a reference to the original media, though. Now, the next step, which is the fun part, is you get to select a picture. I already have a few pictures that I've chosen, so I'll drag in the picture. I think I'll be going with this one. Looks pretty nice. So drag it into the video track. I'm just going to shorten this to 5 seconds, because the default text length is 10 seconds. Now here's where it gets interesting. Select Event Pan Crop and shrink down the size of this and you can start it on or off. I like when it starts off. Now go to the end of your track for this under your position, add a new keyframe, and drag it to the most colorful or whatever part of your thing, of your picture, or video. If it's video, you don't have to do this part. This step is optional then. And then rotate it a little. And you should come up with something like this. gives it a very pulsating look and very nice effect. By starting it off the screen, it gives it a fade-in sort of effect. If you started it on the screen, this is what it would look like. I like when it starts off the screen, because it makes it fade-in sort of. That picture had a lot of black in it though, so it gets dark and hard to see. And with another picture, I'll show you a few other pictures, just to show you different things you can create. I'm going to open all of those just to speed this up. Whoa, did not mean to do that. So basically go to your event pan crop, shrink, put off screen optionally. I like it that way. Add a new keyframe at the end, drag it down to the most colorful or part of your picture. Rotate it a little. If you rotate it too much and don't like it, just rotate it the opposite direction to get rid of that rotation. And then just close it and play it so it'll fade in like this and it'll go into the white light blue area and text will start showing up here's another one why is it dragging in both of those I don't know so go to your pan crop first keyframe shrink it like I said I like it off the screen when it starts drag it add the last keyframe rotate it a little you can use any amount of rotations you like and then it'll fade in like this and I'll show you one final picture of what you can do it did not bring in all the pictures I expected there this picture looks amazing that's why I saved it for last so put it off the screen, like 
you don't have to do that. You can start it on, drag it, rotate it a little, and close your event pan crop. And it creates an amazing chrome effect. And that's about it. You can add video effects. I like the wave effect on it because you can sort of wave the text at the end a little. Light rays and other glow effects like that, I've learned they don't work too well on it, but if you want to attempt that, go ahead. And this has been a tutorial for Gameplay United. Hopefully you have learned how to do the crystal text effect. And I like to see people post video responses of what they have done using this effect. You can Remember, you can use video picture or a picture. They work equally well. If you want to find some pictures like this one, or the other ones I've shown, when you go to Google, type in the letter C, number 4, and the letter D. That stands for Cinema 4D. You will get tons of pictures like this, and they are very useful for this effect. So that will conclude this tutorial. Thank you for watching. This has been Kiwi, and I will see you next time.